You are my God and I am I will ever Shababako Barabashande Oh Lord, oh Lord You are my God and I am I will ever praise you Step by step, step by step, you lead. Shamba bakabaraba shandi. We'll follow you in all of my days. Mando poko baraba shandi le boko baraba shandi. Can we pray some more? Can we pray some more? Je peux le kumbra diko baraba sivra diko baraba sigai. Le kumbra diko baraba shandi le boso bradisa. Le kobara shandere bo son bradikon bradisa menda bara kobro di son bradisa je pele de bo son de bo robo son bradika bara bashande ze bara bashandere bo kobara bashande le kobara bashandere bo su bradisa menda bara kobo robo kobara di kore bo kobo bos le kobara di gera gadi gara bada bahaya now we are going to be praying that in the name of Jesus. I am more established in purpose. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I am more established in purpose. Can we pray? Can we pray? In the name of Jesus, I am more established in purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, Mando Paria Kun Brabuzo Veledebosa, Menda Paria Kuzo Vledigan Brabuzo, Japala Dabakan Brabuzo Veledebosa, Rako Barasti Vrodoson Bradisa, Jepele Kombra di Son Vrada Baraba Shande, Rako Borobo Son Bradika, Le Cobra Zigro Duzo Veledebosa, Mende Reco Poruzo Velede Boko Baraba Shande, Reco Barabi de Bobo Dobo Robo So Bradisa, Le Cobra Rasito Baraba Shande, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Mendo Paria Kumbro Duzo Veledebosa, I do not lose a step. I do not lose a step in the name of the Lord Jesus. Man de bele kopra diko parasi gobaria bakuba le kuzo velikan bradusa men shatiria kuro fuara basiga rabakuba le kobo robo supra diso velika barabash le borobo supra dikaria bakuba rekeria karia bo supra dusa. Man de keria ku produso velerebosa, men da pasanderebo su produsa. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm established in purpose. In the name of Jesus, my feet are grounded. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Para basanderebo sombra disa. Le cobara bashande de bosso pradisa, le cobara bashande de bossa, rede de bosso pradico para bashande, racopo lo de boco para que de boco para bashande, reque de boco para bossa, mende boro bossu pradico para que diga raga diga rabashande, rabo son pradiso pradico para bashande, mende boro bosso pradica rabashande, le cobara bashu vele de bossa, rede de bosso pradico so velerebosa am more established in the name of the lord jesus men de paria ku producer men de pora basigo bala digo bara basugo revele kedia ba ku produzo le dan braduso bradiga in the name of the lord jesus now we are going to be praying that in the name of jesus i meet helpers of destiny in the name of jesus those who are supposed to help me in my destiny, those who are supposed to help me in my purpose, in the name of Jesus, I begin to meet them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, man de pelia karia baku produso. I meet partners, I meet helpers. In the name of the Lord Jesus, man de para buko pereko supra disa. I'm divinely connected. In the name of Jesus, I'm divinely connected to people. In the name of the Lord Jesus, 
Mando pele de bo sombra disa. Le ko baraka si de rego bara bashande. Rebo go bo robo supra dika. Le ko pradiko bara basu volo bara diga baga basiza. I ka barubo pele de bo ko bara dika. Le ko pradiso pradiko bara bashande. Zebele de bo ko pradisa pradusa. Every door that needs to be opened in the name of Jesus. We declare them opened in the name of the Lord Jesus. Man de pelia kuru bo sombra disa, men da bara kopo no do bosa, jevele de bo kompra disa, men le koria ba kupro di sombra da shande. In the name of the Lord Jesus, men de bora bo sombra di sombra disa, man de bara kapa ria kali kapara ba suzo, reko po robo supra disa. I begin to meet people that are divinely connected to me. In the name of Jesus. Mando poro bo supra di karaba shande, rabo ko poro bo supra rabo de bo ko baraba shande, le ko baraba supra disa, shebele de bo supra di ko baraba de bo supra disa, le poro bo supra di ka baraba supra disa, mando para ba shande de bo supra disa, mando para ba ku poro bo supra la da ba ka ba shande, mando poro bo supra di ka baraba si gradusa, le ko para de ge le bo ko Robo robo supra disa in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mando bala da ba robo robo sombra disa. Jebele robo sombra diko para ba shande robo sa. Jebele robo sombra diko para ba shande robo sa. Menda para ba sige robo gobo gobo supra disa in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mela da ba kaba ra ba suva ra ba shande. Mende poro bo supra dika bara ba shande. Rebo gobo robo supra dika. Le gobo robo supra dika bara ba shande. Re gobo sombra di. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Jacob Baraka Bala de Boko Borobo Supra Disa, Leko Baraba Shande Rebo Sombra Diga Baraba Diga Badabai. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are going to be praying that in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone that the devil has set on my path to distract me from purpose, in the name of Jesus, they are consumed by fire. And the Lord takes them away. In the name of Jesus, I will fulfill destiny. I will fulfill my purpose in life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now, you see, one of the things that I have discovered in scriptures is that uh, many people begin in purpose, but not everybody actually end up at their destination. Because the destination is the vision that God has for you. Okay, so the purpose, you need a mission for it, okay? So when you are on your path to purpose, uh, there are people that God will divinely orchestrate to actually help you, okay? And the devil has a plan, his own plan too. So we're going to be praying that in the name of Jesus, if there is anyone the devil has orchestrated that is just playing around my life, in the name of Jesus, we take them away now. In the name of Jesus, they are taken away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can we turn that into prayer now? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mango baraku borosu vele de boko barashinda barabahai. Zeko baraba shande de boko baraba shande de boko pradista mbradusa. Reko baraka diko borobo son vladika rabashande. Reko borobo son bradiko barabashande de bosu pradisa. Leko baraka sige re boko barasi de produsa. Leko mbradika barabashande. Reko borobo su produsa. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mando para ku produzo vele de baraba shande. Mando porobo supra disa. Mande keria ba ku porobo supra la de baraba shande. Rego porobo supra disa. Mando porobo shonda baraba ko baradisa. Leko baraba shande. Rako produzo vladiso mbradisa. Mando baraba ko produzo pradisa. Leko baraka si gradisa pradusa. Jevele de ko pradika baraba shande. Mando porobo shondo pradiria karaka suzo. Mando polo dom pradika radika dapa gobo so pradisa. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. Manda para bashanda rakaria bakubo robo sopra disa. Manda para bashanda reko para bashandi. Leko para kasi gara bakubo robo sopra disa. Jake rebo ko para bashandi. Reko para kadi gara kadi gara bakubo robo sopra disa. Leko para kadi gere gede bogo para bashandi. Mando polo pradika para kubo robo sopra disa. Jepele rebo kum pradika para bashandi. Manso valo dobo robo. Rege de boko baraga de gere bo gobo robo shende rabada ba kopra di kabara ba shende we are insulated in the name of Jesus against every attacks of the enemies in the name of the Lord Jesus mando poro bo sombra di ka mansa baraba kabara ba shende mendo poro bo sopra kiri kere bo sopra di sa jevele de bo kopra di ko baraba shende rego bo robo sombra di ko baraba shende. Mende para bashande rebo ko para bashande le ko para gadi gere gadiya. I fulfill my destiny in life in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mando boro bo supra di ka para bashande. Mendo para basufro du ko para gadiza rego boro bo sombra disa. Mende pere bo sombra di ko para bashande rebo sabahaya. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Now we are going to be praying that in the name of Jesus, we are strengthened for the rest of the journey. In the name of Jesus, we receive strength. We receive strength. Can you turn that into prayer now? In the name of Jesus, I receive strength. I receive strength. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive strength. I'm strengthened. In the name of Jesus. Mando para co produzo balada bashande. Mando para ba co produzo velere bosa. Mende keria ba kura bashande. Jebele de bo compra di kara bashande re bosa. Jebele de bo sombra di ko para basigere bo supra disa. Mando poro bo supra di ka para bashande. Le ko para bashande re bo supra disa. Rege de bo supra di gere bo supra disa. Things that are not supposed to get at me will not get at me. I will not get unnecessarily offended. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive strength. I receive strength. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Mando para bashande rebo ko para bashande, reko para bo subo rebo shonda para bashande, menso voro ko para bo sombra di ka para bahai, jele rebo ko para bada ba kara ba si produzo, jebele rebo sopra di kara bashande, mando para bo supra di kara da de ko rebo su, le kombra di ka para bashande, rebo go 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 bo supra di ka para bashande, le ko para bashande rebo sa, re Ko boro bo sombra di ko para bashande, mende para ba ka para bashande, raba ko bala ba sufro dusa, mende poko boro bo supra disa, jepele de bo ko para di ka raba sombra di ka para ka di ga raga di ga raba siza. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, jepele ko para di ka raba supra disa, mende paria ba ku boro boro bo supara bashande, raba Ko bara kaziga ragu do produzo vele de bas je bele de boko bara tika raba shande men do polo boro bo supra di ka raba siza in the name of the Lord Jesus men do para ba shande de boko bara ba shande rekere boko boro bo kopo de boko boro bo shodo ba la kumbra di som bara ba kabara ba shande men do polo bo supra di ka raba shande men so vala da boko bara ba shande in the name of the Lord Jesus, Rebo ko bara ba shande, Rebo ko bara ba shande, Raba ka bara ba shande, Raba ba shande. In the name of Jesus, Mando bolo boko bara ba de boko bara ba super ba de bosa, Jebele de boko bara ba shande. In the name of Jesus, Manda bara ba shande. Now will you say this after me that in the name of Jesus, I receive the grace to discern men rightly. In the name of Jesus. I receive the grace to discern men rightly. Stand that into a prayer now. In the name of Jesus, I receive grace. I receive grace. Mando paria ku produzo valada bahai to discern men rightly. In the name of the Lord Jesus, mendo poro bo sufra di kabara bashande, mendo para basi prodo bo sopra disa. 
Mando para compro do sombra disa. Jebele de boco para baixando de bolsa. Recopo robo copo robo sobo lodo boco para robos. Raga da baixando de bolsa. Mendo para baixando. Copra di sopra di sopra di sopra di sa. Jebele de boco para robo sopra di para baixando. Le por robo sombra di co para baixando de bolsa. Manda para baixando de bolsa. Le compro do sopra di sa. Je peux le dépôt son pradika para bashande reko para bashande de bossa in the name of Jesus mando para copo robo sopo lopo copo robo shonde poro bos raka de gerege de pogo poro bos in the name of Jesus manda para bashande de bossa bratiria bakuza mendo poro bos le poro bos so pradika rabashande rako poro bos so le de pogo para bashande rabo son Diso, mende bele copa raba shande rebosa, le porobo son brakiria bakosa, i compra di sopra disa, man shanda raba copa robo son bradika raba shande, jebele rebosa, rege de boko porobo son bradiko para bashande, rege de bosa, le porobo so pradika raba shande, rego de boson bradika raba si produsa, menda bara bashande rebosa. Le copra chicro du sopra disa mendo para bashande manda para bashande le boko para bashande rabada para bada bako robos le ko para bashande le bosa manda para kasuvla digo para bashande mendo poro bos sopra dika para bashande menzo para bashande le bosa le ko para bashande le boko para bashande le boko para basaza rabada baka bahai rebo do bosa Manda para bashande de bosa, mando poco para bashande de boko para bashande, rege de boko para bashande de bosa, leko para bashande, re boko para bos sombra diko para bashande, rege de boko para boko para bos, leko para dika para dusa, mendo para bashande de bosa, rego para bos sombra dika para bashande, ra kom para dusa, mendo para bashande de bosa, rege de bos on Mando para bosha, reko para bos, rege de bosha. Manda para bashan de de bosha, leko para di sovra bash, reko para di, reke de bosha, lika para bashan de de bos, sovra bos, rege de bosha. Mende reko para bashan de de bosha, mendo para bashan de de bos, riga da bashan de de bos, rege de boko para bos, rege de bosha. Mende para bashan de de bosha, rege de bos sovra di. Menda para bashande de bosa, rege de bosa. Mendo poro de sombra di cara bashande, leko para bashande de bosa, reko para bashande de bosa, rege de bos sombra di cara basi boro bos sopra disa. Menda para bashande de bosa, menda para baku boro bos sopra di cara bashande, mensa para bashande de bosa, mendo para bashande de boko para bashande, rabada bakara bas. Suzo le para bashande de bosa manda para bakara bashande de boko para bashande rabada bakara bashande de boko para bashande raga de gorobosa menda bala bako produso fradisa manda para bashande. Manda para bashande de bosa, leko para bashande de bosa, reko do boko para bashande de bosa, le para bagada bagada para bashande de bos, rabagada bash, leko para baku para bosom bradisa, jebele de bosa, rakom para basubla diko para bashande, rika da baka para bashande, mango para bosom bradika radeke de bosa, leko para bashande de bosa, rege de gere in the name of the Lord Jesus, I discern men rightly. In the name of the Lord Jesus, mando para bashande de boko para bashande, rako para bashonde para bashande, rako bolo de boko para diko para bashande, levo le de bosom para diko para bashande, 
Rabako prabuko porobo somba. Le preba raba gade gere boko porobo sh. Le borobo sa. Rege de kere ke de boko paraba shande. Rabako probuso vradisa. Mande kro paraba shande. Je vele de boka. Manda prabuso pradisa. Je vele de boko pradisa. Je vele de kro pradisa pradusa. Rabadaba shande rebosa. Mande kro pradisa. Je vele de boko pradisa. Reko pradisa anda rabashande. Menda parako som pradisa. Je vele de bosa. Javara baka paraba gaba daba gaba dabas. Leko baraka dige rege debo gobo robo debos. Lebo robosa. Rege debo su pradison pradisa. Menda baga barabashande debo ko pradisa. In the name of Jesus. Reko borobo som pradisa. Rege debos. Lebo robo som pradisa ande kere bos. Le borobo son bradisa, jebele de bos, raka da bakara bashande de bosa, mende bere bosu, rako produsa, je barakara bashande, man barabo son bradisa, manda baraba shande de bosa, le ko baraba shande de bosa, reko borobo so bradisa, le borobo son bradika baraba shande, reko do boko baraba shande, raka da bash, le ko baraba shande de bosa. Manda para bashande rebosa le compra disa Let's keep praying. Let's keep praying. Shabon de bara 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 shabon de bara 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 bara bara
give another day. Oh, I carry the consciousness of God's power to walk in him in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I never forget. Thank you, Jesus. Shukarabasuti da baha. Urabakapati buruga. My Jesus is the master over all the storms of life. The Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords. Believe him and be at rest. He died for you on Calvary to take your sins away. Master over the storms of life. Believe him and be at rest. Abe Oga Obatiwa. Any tofi fe she wa ye Kuso unto le ya Wa ya jesu Oba idala Oh unsha luluwa Precious Lord speak to us tonight And let our lives be transformed In Jesus name we pray Alright please take your seat Hallelujah. We are going to be having prophetic conversations. That is, um, we are going to examine a few prophetic um, phenomena and um, how they work. But can I say this to you today? That life is prophetic. When we say prophetic, we mean it means deeper than it appears. And the reason why life is prophetic is because, you know, prophecy is foretelling. Am I right? Prophecy is foretelling. There is a realm that controls the material world from which things that happen in the material world would have happened there first. So, I've always said it in this church that every physical play is a spiritual replay. Which means whatever happens in the physical must have happened in the spirit first. That makes life prophetic. Jesus would describe his miracles and he said, as I see my father do, I do. Which means what we saw Jesus do in the physical, the Father has done it in the spirit. So what Jesus would do in the physical is a physical replay of that which he has seen that is done. So when we say someone is not aligned, what are we saying? What we are saying is that that person is trying to do what God is not doing through him. Are you with me here? There is a subject called preordination and predestination. Which means, God speaking to Jeremiah said, before you were formed in the womb, Jeremiah chapter 1, 
I knew you and I ordained you. Is that not interesting? That even shows you also <laughs> that life is prophetic. Before Jeremiah was formed in the womb, that means Jeremiah had been existing. So you existed first in the mind of God, or better put within the context of this framework, you existed first in the spirit. So it was the entity that existed in the spirit that manifested in the womb. If you are with me, raise your hand. If you let me, God will let me talk today. If you let me. But if you don't let me, I will stop to the degree to which you let me. So, which means if Jeremiah will come to the world, like everybody has come to the world, which means you existed before you existed in the womb. So, life is not faith. Life is prophetic. By faith, I mean F-A-T-E. Life is not whatever happens to me, I take. No. Life is aligning to that which was pre-known. And prophetically speaking, I like to say to you that the struggles of many people is tied to doing what they are not ordained to do. If you are blessed, lift your <laughs> Can someone say I existed before I existed? Oh, say I existed before I existed. Is it not interesting that the child Jesus has been prophesied before Mary conceived? In fact, including his assignment. God name shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be this. His name shall be that. A child that had not been born in the material. Where happenings are concerned, the material world is secondary. It's a secondary world. And that's why, you see, the Bible says, known unto God are all his works from the foundation of the world. So, which means that there is nothing that will, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. There is nothing that will happen to you tomorrow that will be strange to God. Now, look at it. Adam and Eve fell, but the lamp was slain from the foundation of the world. Before they were even formed. Now, why am I saying this to you? I'm explaining the fact that life is prophetic. Can you say that? Oh, say it again. Now, if life is prophetic, you must approach life in a prophetic approach. Which means, calculations cannot give you a glorious life. Life is not always one plus one. Life is that which has been ordained or that which has been settled. And that's why, it is, if you conquer in the spirit, you will conquer in the physical. So this is, this is the situation of a lot of people. They don't know life is prophetic. If you ask a young lady, let's say that studies physiotherapy, of course I'm looking for someone's trouble, and I like to do that. And you say, how did you achieve this? The young lady says, hard work, hard work, and hard work. A realm of the spirit is looking at her like, are we a joke to you? then you will realize that it's not just hard work. When a man accidentally finds himself in what was ordained, he finds it easy and thinks it's just hard work. There is something ordained of you that grace has been released on your life to do. If you do otherwise, you will struggle. So if you approach life after the order of the prophetic, you will discover before you decide. Who am I blessing here? See, after we say discovery before decision. So it, it's not impossible that you have just been deciding. You looked at it that doctors are traveling abroad now. Let me study medicine. You know, let me give you a gist. I wanted to marry a doctor, and I'll tell you why. I look at it, this country, there's Jackpa. And if I marry and she writes that plap, she jackpas, and we just jackpas. And we'll just be doing ministry in the UK. UK. <laughs> but in God's ordination, that's not God's way for me. So someone called me. And I don't know why God does that to me. He said, sir, please, God, I know I'm not big enough to give you work. I said, you are big. Just talk, just talk. 
Say, I feel like you should not be calculative with marriage. I say, okay. Okay, by calculation, you mean what? After that conversation, I was still calculating. I called one of my prophetic friends. I said, I want a doctor, say, a doctor, a doctor. He didn't answer me again. Now, was he logically good to make that kind of choice? Eh? But prophetically speaking, if it is not aligned with God's order in your life, that's how you will be smart enough to arrange yourself into trouble. Many troubles come from approaching... You will trace your troubles to your calculation. Who is listening to me? So life is prophetic. So when... Someone says, what then? You know I said this is a conversation. So is it okay? Is it okay? What then is the place of doctrine? Because life is spiritual. And God wants you to journey in truth. So God will introduce truth to you so that you, you can master the realm of the spirit in a good light. Now, be, be careful to listen to me. The people in the negative supernatural, is it supernatural? In fact, in those days, they will say they want to look at the destiny of a child. And if they throw it, they will say, ah, this child will become this. And to an extent, were they accurate? Because the supernatural is not just positive supernatural, you cannot live life without truth so that you don't fall into negative hands. Are you with me here? So as I journey into spiritual things, truth is my anchor. So I'm not just trying to discover, and that's why I tell people, in the prophetic, what I'm looking for is not accuracy. What I'm looking for is the accuracy God gives and at times, the only way you can know the difference is truth. I'm not talking about truth is not. <laughs> truth here is the spirit of truth. Let me tell you how the spirit of truth works. The scripture you know, the spirit of truth will remind you when it is needed. You don't get it. How many of you have prayed before that you left there and you felt like I should have used this scripture? Raise your hand very well. That, ah, how come I didn't use this scripture? <laughs> but how many of you have preached also that you just felt like scriptures that you didn't know you knew were just flowing and they were accurate? Lift your, you see, that's the spirit of truth. The spirit, now, it's not just preaching here. The spirit of truth brings truth when truth is needed. Now, what am I saying? If someone comes to you now, because... Good churches can make the mistake of inviting wrong people. And says, precious, precious. I see a P. I don't know why. I'm saying sign language, sign, sign. Do you have anything to do with sign? Say, oh, oh, Papa. Sign. Before people have the chance to discern, they would have broken. But the spirit of truth understands the weakness of humanity where the spectacular is concerned. So even in that point, the spirit of truth, the voice will be loud. The resistance will be clear. How many of you have felt resistance before? Now there's, there's a man, I was going to say of God, then I realized he was not of God. My wife went for a meeting. I was the one who told her to go because I believed in the man. So she went for the meeting. The man usually will call name and surname. And all that. My wife just called me after she was a daughter there. And said, I'm not feeling him. The initial response was, uh, uh, you better feel him. Because there's no, if you look at that, I looked at that man of God till now. Thousands of people are following him on social media. Till now. 
There's no way. And you know the funny thing about this fake? This fake has doctrine. I'm telling you. He preaches like Pastor Chris or Yakilome. He preaches like him. Say, glory, the glory of God is seated on the inside of the believer. And people are shouting, ah! I say, fake it. Now, she had, did she? She had his prophecy. But the spirit of truth within is saying, this is not me. <laughs> You know, I didn't just catch the man of God. I caught him with proof. I mean proof. I went to preach for a pastor in Lagos. And he asked me, because he saw that I was prophetic. So he asked me, do you know this person? I said, ah, that person. He said, ah, fake in it. He would make people register. And then check their Facebook. For information. So, is the information on Facebook is giving them. He said, ah, I see you in Germany. Have you, have you been to Germany? He said, ah, pa, 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 pa. So it happened that this, my pastor's wife, wrote a wrong date of birth on Facebook. <laughs> the prophet Bible also a date of birth. <laughs> ah. And the woman was like, this is the date of birth on my Facebook page. And that's why, and many other, many other things that, now, that's even the primary so truth is how we know positive supernatural who is with me here who is with me truth truth so what doctrine does is that doctrine enhances truth so a man that knows doctrine i'm going somewhere very deep please help me be hungry if you are not hungry this conversation cannot be successful a man that knows doctrine will be able to Discern better because discernment is not just spiritual, truth emnidizes discernment. Can somebody say that? Please say it again. Which means a man that knows truth will find it easier discerning than a man that doesn't. Now, having said that, let me go back to life being prophetic. If life is prophetic, how then am I expected to live life? I've touched it, and we're going to pray very serious prayers today. Now, I'm expected to live life, one, depending on God. Can somebody say that? Oh, say it again. Oh, help me. Because the one that knows tomorrow... Is the one that can help you live life well. Now, let me tell you this truth today. You can make a decision and decision looks like it's prospering. And somewhere in front, you don't judge right decisions by results. You judge right decisions by leading. Because the truth is this. You can marry a man that is rich now. Hear me. And for the first three years, you are going to Bahamas. What else, where else do you like to go? Eh? Maldives? Yes, my wife knows all those places. It's just that every time she says, we need to go, ah, before she finishes it, I will enter spirit. Who knows that thing? Like, hmm. Something is there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Miami, how come you know? <laughs> eh? You can be going, and the third year, you will realize his first born is in secondary school. <laughs> What I'm saying is that immediate result is too shallow to judge right decision. Yes, sir. So how you judge a right decision is that the spirit of God has led you. So you must live life depending on God. And dependence on God is being led always. Somebody say being led. Yeah. Always. Oh help me say being led. Yeah. Always. Now how does God lead us? In a pro who is blessed tonight? I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking from my heart. Number one, God leads us through his word. Through his word. Through his word. So if you study the word of God well enough, you will realize that the word of God is a prophetic book. The Bible is a prophetic book. 
Bible says, only men of God speak as they were inspired. That's the prophetic manifestation there. Only men of God speak as they were inspired. So when you read the Bible, you can find direction in Bible study. Because I don't think that the Holy Ghost leaves anyone reading the Bible alone. Let me explain. Acts chapter 8. Bible says the Ethiopian eunuch that was not saved was reading Bible. Am I right? What did the Holy Ghost do? The Holy Ghost spoke to Philip that someone is reading the Bible here. Someone is reading a book I inspired. Go and explain to him. So what I'm saying is that, you see, dependence on God begins with acquaintance with his word. And not just the spoken word, first the written word. If you don't see the need to read your Bible regularly, you don't depend on God yet. It doesn't matter how sonorous your voice is when you are singing. Listen to me. A man who doesn't read Bible eh, can be a prophet. How many of you know there are prophets that don't know Bible? Lift your hand. You know a prophet came to preach in a church I was one time and everything he was saying was like incantation. He said, no matter how mad the goat is, he can never go and play where a lion is. Okay. No matter how dark a room is, he can never change a where light is. Ah, ah. Thank God for me. Kiri. If you translate this thing to Yoruba, it's sounding somehow. And say, ah, me. Ah. And you know the funny thing? He's not a fake prophet. That manifestation is only a product of where he learned from. It is not. Mm. It, 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 now, someone that doesn't know spirit of truth, but that knows truth, we look at that one and see, false prophet is not true. You see, there are prophets in error. That doesn't make them false. False prophets are prophets that are not sponsored by the spirit of God. But that they are in error is also dangerous. Are you with me? So this prophet was in error. You may not read Bible. And your prophecy will be, will still be accurate. This man was accurate. He was telling people their GP. Telling people, and he was their GP. You know, you know your GP. You know, if someone tells a woman, a lady, a GP, she will break. Like, oh my God, how did you know? If you tell a man... Why they talk I'm loud now? <laughs> Why they talk I'm inside my crowd? I don't really like this thing now. So the way a man thinks is different from the way a man <laughs> But that man that doesn't read Bible that is accurate can never be accurate in his own life. It is gift that is working. But accuracy begins with doctrinal, loving the Bible. Not necessarily 100% doctrinal correctness. Are you with me here? I'm telling you, and I know the man today is nowhere to be found. I say this very respectfully. With all that gifting. And with all that, if you still meet him, he will still give you one accurate prophecy. Because he's a gift. So what I'm saying is this. That a prophet is accurate to you does not mean he's accurate to himself. Now leave the prophet and bring your own life. If the person that has gift of prophecy needs to love the Bible, how much more you they are prophesying to? Now, knowledge level has been different in all generations. But for everyone who became great for God, read Bible regularly. Check your history. Check your history. I know this generation, you are not reading your Bible. I know you. You know, you can still be quoting scriptures and you are not reading the Bible. Because you are around church. Uh -uh. Uh, now you have known a few scriptures. You go and quote that one. In fact, you pray more than you read the Bible. Because you don't need to sit down. This generation has the problem of sitting down. Prayer, you can be walking and just keep ready to see pray. Where I'm going is still far. Let me not stay there too much. But to sit down for three hours and read the Bible 
I, I challenge you, do it for one month. Read two chapters daily for one month and see what will happen to your discernment. Beyond the knowledge is the spirit that produced the book. <laughs> Let me tell you, can, do you want me to talk or I should just give you basic? I should talk. Have you heard people reading some books and they run mad? Have you heard it? How did they run mad? The, source, the spirit that produced the book exposed them to a negative spirit. And they began to behave likewise. Now watch. Have you heard people that watch something and they began to misbehave? I told you of a woman that called me, not another person. That she watched the movie. Someone killed her daughter in the movie. She had the daughter. And since then she has been feeling like killing her own daughter. Which means, you know that you are still arguing whether Big Brother is good or bad. You know you are still arguing. You don't know the realm of the street. That's what I'm saying. You may be quoting scriptures. You don't know God. Not even just God. You don't know the realm of the spirit. Spirits are transferred through things that the devil wants you to call common. So that you can still find a place in your life. So you think your Facebook page is common. But you will realize that your life might have been better without it. You will realize that the, the, you see, the bulk of the demonic operations that is going on in your life now are the things you have seen and you have called nothing. And the devil likes it. The devil likes it. So, two things I want to say. If you can read a book, I know some of those books. <laughs> hmm. I've read some. Ah, I've read some. I told you, I read a book. They drew a few dots. They said, look at this dot for 30 seconds and look at the wall beside you and tell us what you see. I looked at the dot. Looked at the wall. It was the picture of the Jesus they use all around now that I saw. There were people in my room that time that are still my friends now. I said, my darling Jesus. I knew that if I continued reading those books, my head cannot be accurately correct. That the again went to someone with a large library and that again said, I wish I've read all these books. He looked at that again and said, I wish I've not. But to you, because you don't know life is prophetic and everything exudes, you see, there are either demons sponsoring things or spirits sponsoring them. Now, you will just read them and say it's just mystical. It's just horror movie. And the spirit of fear has entered your heart since you watched it. You cannot see shadow. You will say, Wee! because you watched an horror movie. And you say, I'm just afraid. It's a demonic interference somewhere. Spirits have been released. Hmm. Who is with me? Now, let, let me leave that. <laughs> if you can read a book and demons will operate because they sponsored the book so when you read the bible apart from the truth inside what can happen to you what can happen to you the same energy that inspired the book will do something in your life now apart from the truth is it the truth that you saw in the demonic book that is making you misbehave. Is it the truth? It's the spirit. There is no truth that will supply if a spirit is not sponsoring it. None. 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 <laughs> so, I'm reading the Bible for two things. The truth and the spirit. I'm telling you the truth. Every time, when I open the Bible, I would not have read seven verses. I would have been praying in tongues. How many of you it has happened to you before? It's not, it's not like I'm reading New Testament. It's not like I'm reading, I'm seated in heavenly places. You know this, that's things that makes you feel giddy, giddy. There's a spirit that inspired this book. And that spirit is doing something in me. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm giving you one more reason that you need to read your Bible regularly. It does something to you. It tightens your understanding of the spirit it opens you up to a world 
a world the same way that demonic book opens people up to a world and in that world and that's why i said something to someone you know this prophetic conversation you have said i should not withhold it i said if your prophetic operation is getting weak read the prophets are we going to leave this thing well let me leave there <laughs> who is blessed tonight so it begins with reading the bible spirituality begins with reading the bible spirit I'm, I'm i'm not saying religion you know there's a religion of i've not read it today ah i'm going to vlog that again <laughs> so how many of you will begin to read your bible daily now raise your hand raise your hand because you need it you you i'm telling you you can never you see that spirit that i said <laughs> it applies to music too it applies to music you don't know why you cannot but dance continue you so you have sang why me why me why me and you are wondering is you so who will it be <laughs> if you see where those people are writing songs you will know it's a spirit whether they willingly submit to it or is using them because some of you think it's okay since they are not just born again but they are not doing jazz you don't have to do jazz for spirits to use you <laughs> I don't think I've done this in recent times in this church but sh should I off my mic should I off my mic so it begins with what is reading bible I wanted to prove to you that something more than seeing information happens to you when you read your bible and if you are committed to it you have just done something good to your christian life it's a prophetic document you are reading it's a, somebody say it's a prophetic document it's a prophetic document pastor matthew ashimolo says someone opened his book and fell under the power he had not even read the content he felt probably this was a mistake he took the book again opened the book again fell again that shows who that there are spirits behind writings. There are spirits behind writings. So we have a sacred book that can expose us. Something happens to you, oh, Baladikara. Can you pray the Holy Spirit, David? <laughs> hey, some of you, you need to sit with your Bible. Listen, Reverend George Adeboe was reading his Bible. He said every Wednesday, 8 to 6 p.m., he will be with his Bible. Every Saturday, 6 to 6 p.m., he will be with his Bible. He said one Wednesday, he was reading it as usual. And a man walked in without using the door. And put his hand on his shoulder. And said, this book talks about me. He said, that was when I realized that if you read the Bible to a point, the person behind the Bible will appear to you. If I, if I stop here, it's fine. Prophetic conversations. We may have it once in a while too. When I feel like. <laughs> so it begins. If you want to really be accurate. You see, no man that doesn't love the written word gets accurate with life. You can wish accuracy. You cannot without the written word. You cannot. So it's a prophetic document. Time has gone, right? What's the time? Don't worry. I know you want me to continue. I won't. Because I don't even know why I'm talking this much. Every time Toby attends service, I say things I don't want to say. Who is blessed tonight already? What's the action point you are taking out of this? Your Bible study time is not one of those times. It's as important as your prayer time. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what I do is that I merge them. I read the Bible when I get to a point and it will look like they have read, I'm drinking something. That's what happens to me. It, you know that thing. When I get to a point, I just drop it. I stand a bit. I can go 35-40 minutes. You see, there are realms you visit that you permanentize by prayer. Now, let me tell you, you can come to a service 
and you journey by corporate anointing. And a man can refuse to live where corporate anointing took him because he chose to dig in prayer. Naturally speaking, corporate anointing journeys faster than individual anointing. But after service, if you choose to go on a retreat, and that's why Pastor Kodjo Imade said one day, he said after a major meeting, don't rest, pray. Because there's somewhere you have touched. You see, when you touch things in the spirit, it doesn't automatically get permanent. Prayer permanentizes it. And that's why if I'm preaching and I just do something I've never done before, ah, that's a call for a retreat. That Lord, this thing, I don't want to visit it. I want to dwell there. One day the Lord showed me a vision. It's a prophetic conversation. And in that vision, I entered a room. And he said to me, this is a room called power. Called power. Called power. Hi. Doctrinal people will be angry here. Don't worry. Then I know that in the spirit, we are on a journey. And no matter how much you try, you can't go deeper than you have gone. You don't get what I'm saying. Which means the extent to which you can have certain experiences through my ministration now is how deep I've journeyed with God. It, it, it's, it's just it. But if God in his mercy now seems to shoot me deeper, now, which means I've been introduced to something new that I'm not familiar with. I don't just celebrate it. I investigate it. Now, let me quickly journey. How to know a new season is upon you is that the, your regular prayer time feels like it's not enough again. You will just be feeling like this prayer time is not... It's one hour, Abi. It's one hour. How many of you have felt this a lot of times? Every new season demands a new order. Now, as this lady is growing, the food that will satisfy her increases. That's what happens. When what used to satisfy you ceases to satisfy you, it's not a bad thing. The body you are feeling is a beckoning that a new season is upon you. Increase your prayer. If you increase it, you will sit in the new season. But the mistake of many people is that they are behaving, they are behaving like their old season. And yet a new season has come. So they are running a new season with the capacity of the old. So a new season hangs in profit, not in the material. This conversation is deeper than this, but we will leave it here. Life is prophetic. Let me tell you something. Before I start a journey, I see myself in the destination. Not just physical journey now. This is how you will not start things you will not finish. I'm not talking about accident or anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? It has happened many times. One day, Pastor, the Pastor Lavi, they wanted to travel. I like the fact that I tell you this story. Uh, I said, Are you are sure you are going home? Because I looked, I didn't see him at home. He said, Baba, I'm going. He said, Bless me. I blessed him. Then I told him, This place is always open. <laughs> So he got to the middle of the road. A military man stopped them. Did other people pass that day? What happened to your boss? Come, come, come. Don't let it look like I'm sharing this story behind you. <laughs> if you engage life from the spiritual standpoint, you will look mysterious to people who are shallow. What happened? Tell us the story. Okay. Um, what happened was <laughs> just... <laughs> They called outside Onigari on the road to um, Lagos. So just as we were about getting there, people have been moving. In fact, I remember vividly asking the driver at the park that she moved to him my day kosher. Like, would this vehicle get to Lagos? Driver just said, trying to verify that. Exactly. Just trying to clarify, verify. The driver said, ah, sure, sure, sure. I've, in fact, I've even called the people that have left here since 7, 8. They have gotten to Lagos. I said, okay, no problem. And I entered, paid the normal transport fee. Only for us to get towards that bus stop. They just said their boss, who normally would not be around, just out of the blues, decided to come to that checkpoint that day and started turning everybody back. 
So, people were, it was more like 30 minutes before we got there, people were going. But for some weird reasons, <laughs> 30 minutes before I got there, the boss came and said nobody was passing. People offered to pay him money. He said, no way. He said, nobody is going anywhere. Then, last, last, I just carried my bag. I just did a knock. I said, welcome back. I saw you. You know the funny thing? As he was coming, I saw him coming back. Yeah, yeah, because you called me on the phone that I, day. So, let me end this with this. Who is blessed tonight? What do I do when I've already started a journey and I'm not seeing myself at the end? Start praying. Prayer will protocol you and give you a soft landing. But what I'm saying is that we must not ignore the prophetic if we will have dominion. We must not. Because life is prophetic. Life is prophetic. I pray for you that you will journey into that realm where information about your life will not meet your unawares. Listen, it's easier to see another person's life than your own life. Oh. I know that thing. Oh. But that realm where you enter accuracy, accuracy that is born by a walk with God, I declare in the name of Jesus, online and on site, enter into that realm. Can you do something in prayer, permanentizing this experience? Hear me before you pray. Hear me. I did not just come to talk to you today. I came from a very strong depth. So you have journeyed. Can we do something about this thing that has... How many of you feel like something has happened to you in prayers? How many of you feel like it? So I need you to pray. Please project Revelations 4. Revelations 4. That's the beckoning of the Spirit to us tonight. Revelations 4. You have more than you are, you are using. You have more inheritances in God that you are allowing to find expression. You can have more results than you are having now. You can be more accurate than you are now. Melodies. My lover, my lover, my lover. Aidi, Aidi, Aidi. Hey! My lover, my lover, my lover. Ay, Kelebo. Aidi, Aidi, Aidi. Aidi, the sound of my lover. Beckoning on me to the secret place. Something is happening here. There's a divine transportation going on here. There's a divine transportation. Taking people into depths and oppressions. Especially within the boundaries that redemption can afford. Johnny, it's a very deep meeting tonight. It's a very deep meeting. Mela de Dole. Before you were formed in the womb, God knew you. Known unto God are all his works from the foundation of the world. Ha 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 ha! Ele be libo, be le be libo, be le be. 
There's a divine transportation going on. People are joining in for Can you hold someone and let iron sharpen iron? Can you hold someone? Make sure this prayer is deep. Make sure you are praying very deeply. Johnny very deep tonight. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Let the be guru be di bossi ne be le be di bogo be 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 be. Ale ba ge ba de be ha ha ha. Di ha 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 ha. Ale boss. Aha. While I'm trying to stop you, I sense God is doing something. Hey, can you feel it? Can you sense it? The King of Glory is here. Can you feel it? Can you sense it? The King of Glory is here. Can you feel it? Can you sense it? The King of Glory is walking here. Ela bagebo ve de de ve de sigi di gi di gori la man brombeli e mama badi prenu de mahaye nebe ila begedi sudama le preni bani meni agabagi do shan. Just some few minutes more, let's travel. In the Macamino, Sumbrumulu, Breni Minisu, Eli Madego, Breni Genima, Ikora, Mele de Didai, Ele Gudaba, Green Ale, Grumalai, Grumalai, Ele Ginamai, Grimalai, Grumalai, Grumalai, Ele Gimelabai, Keribu, Shadi, Pradone. Ala bage mene 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 bede 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 bede. Aye gede bede 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 keruo bode mele di. Andra ha 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 ha. Ah! Ene me kore malen promeni shunema. I see an army rising. I see an army rising. Oh! If you journey well, the experience is deep tonight. Hey! Do what comes to heart. Sing the song that is flowing. Dance the dance that is coming. Shout the shout that is coming. It's the dealings of God with us tonight. It's a deep dealing. Journey us into the very depths of the things of the spirit. The men and women can function. Hallelujah. In their superior identity. Sponsored by our supernatural heritage. Of glory is here. He will only be capable. Marora. He will only be capable. Marora. He will only be capable. Marora. He will. Marora, 
Because of time, you need to go and continue this at home. But we are going to do one thing in a few minutes. And I sense is what God wants us to do. We are going to read this scripture together. Because the Lord said there's something in this scripture that defines what is happening in this church to individuals. Can we read together one to go? After this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven. <laughs> we cannot finish this matter. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. In that realm, things are very supernatural, but I'm not, I'm not going to be drawn to do doctrine here. We said, can we read what he said together? Want to go? Which means what you see is at the mercy of how high you come. It doesn't matter how much you look. Your, 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 the, the, the height you are will determine how far you see. So, you see, it is one thing for your eyes to be working where. Where you are looking from matters. What prayer does is that at times it changes where you are looking from. That's why a prophet that knows the prophetic will say from where I stand. This is what I see. <laughs> you will journey high to the point that you will see more. I said you will see more. Amen. The Lord will position you to have perspective. Amen. Prophetic perspective. In the name of Jesus. But I sense the Lord wants us to sing a song and unleash the spirit that bettered it. And when we're done singing the song, I'll be off here. Ah, are you ready, Israel? Ah, I was playing this song in my room as a party boy. But the boy said, he said, oh, come and eat until reduced. Why won't you doubt it? You, are not, you have not gotten to the place where you believe. Nobody is saying God and tea. But tea reduced. I said it to you, which day? That what God was saying is that you have come to that point where there is no prayer you pray that I will not acknowledge. I like us to sing that song. And unleash something. Don't sing it like you are making just melody. Open up your heart as you are singing it. Let's sing it without the drums so that we can concentrate. Hallelujah. Ah, ah, join me. Ah, Yourselves in songs and spiritual songs. Ah, 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 ah. We have just three to four minutes to sing. Something is happening here. 
that came into prayer today is living. But you need to journey in prayer to familiarize with the new experience. And you will see what God will make of your life from this truth you have been unveiled that has been unveiled to you. And we give Jesus praise. Lift your hands and give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you. 
Father, we thank you. We are giving praise. Can we just give God praise? Can we allow appreciation, gratitude, expression of gratitude? Can you let it flow freely from your heart to God this evening? Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Abba, Father, we thank you. Thank you for the spirit of adoption. By we cry, Abba, Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for such an experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father that knoweth how to give good gift, we thank you. Thank you because we know that you are sorting us out. Thank you for the beckoning. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for the drawing. Thank you because you are drawing us. Oh, thank you, Father. For no man cometh unto the Father except he be drawn of the Father. Lord, we thank you for what you are doing in this season. Thank you for such an atmosphere this evening. Lord, indeed, we are grateful. 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 We give you praise and we give you glory. We give you praise and we give you glory. We give you praise and we give you glory. For unto you, o God, shall the garden of your people be. Lord, we give you praise and we give you glory. Can we lift up our spiritual father and God's servant to the hands of the Lord? Can we begin to say, Lord, it gets better, it gets stronger. Thank you for your outpouring of the spirit. Thank you, Father, because it gets stronger. It gets stronger. It gets stronger. It gets more fierce. In the name of Jesus. Grace upon grace, strength upon strength. In the name of Jesus. Kumbala diga shanam brefila kando zimbre dogo shege de bahayanta. Lord, we receive multiplied possibilities, multiplied grace. Rendo sheki palandra ko zimbre ne mahanda gisha balandra gashta. Lord, we thank you also for an expansion, O God. Rebinda ko shalabahande gashta. Le ko zimbre ne gelimbre do sheka palanda gashta. Oh Lord, we thank you for what you are doing in this season in and through him. Mendro jimbre gadigabala ko zambre ne mandele gashta. Ledo zombre ne mahanda gashta. Thank you because this voice we get to the ends of the heads. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Touch Bearers Ministries International is a shouting church. Is a shouting church. Is a shouting church. Is a shouting church. Until I hear that shout, I won't stop. Is a shouting church. Is a shouting church. Is a shouting church. Can we rejoice? The Lord indeed is God unto us, and the shout of the king is now amidst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we package our tithes and offering? Can we package our tithes and offering? It's time for us to express our gratitude to God in and with our substance. In giving and with our substance, can we package our offerings and our tithes? Can we begin to declare what to it? The Lord, thank you because of the supply. Thank you for such an amazing time in your presence. Lord, you have brought this to express our gratitude for what you have done and you are still doing unto us. Thank you, Father, because indeed our bands are filled with plenty. Thank you because it is well with our finances. Thank you because your name is glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen.
Can we please drop our offerings in the basket as it's been passed? Hallelujah. 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 Don't go cold on me. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate the online community? Can you keep celebrating them? Let them hear you that you are celebrating them. Can we celebrate them? Hallelujah. We can do that better. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are welcome to Touch Bearers Ministries International. You are welcome to Touch Bearers Ministries International. Hallelujah. We are a family commission to those of people who are conscious of prophecy and their part in it. A generation that understands the times and work accordingly through the teaching of God's words, prophetic inclination and demonstration of power. Hallelujah. And we believe in the Lordship of Jesus, the operation of the Holy Spirit to reveal Jesus, the authority of the scriptures, the Holy Communion, and we also believe that what prayer is God's tool to change situations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as a people of honor, can we rise up on our feet as we celebrate the pastorate over this house? Hallelujah. Let's celebrate the grace of God upon them, the grace of God. Can we do that better? Hallelujah. 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 How about now? We're going to be celebrating our dearly beloved and esteemed spiritual father and mother, Pastor Emmanuel and Pastor Latitude and Nico. Can we celebrate them? Can we celebrate? Can we celebrate? Can we do that better? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, you may please be seated. Thank you. And remain blessed in Jesus' name. Our services are as follows on Sundays. We have our service by 9 a.m. 9 a.m. on Sundays and Bible studies on Wednesdays by 5.30 p.m. And Bible study matters in court has been awesome. Hallelujah. The pastor said something very... <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Ah, it is well. How about um, we allow some thoughts to cross our mind and yet we still have to walk in love. So our love work is irrespective of what the other parties is doing. God still expects us to walk in love. Hallelujah. Wednesday was awesome time. And sincerely, Matters and Quiet has really, really, really been awesome. So, if you have not yet started attending or you have not started downloading messages to listen again, please do so. Hallelujah. And I'm sure your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Prayer meeting continues on Friday by... 5.30 p.m. All right, today is prayer meeting, but our prayer meeting always runs on Fridays by 5.30 p.m. Like today, we come to receive God's word and to pray in the direction of the word we have received. Praise the Lord. General outreach continues tomorrow by 4 p.m. Tomorrow, Saturday, general outreach we hold by 4 p.m. So let us come all, come on, come all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, and membership class is still ongoing and it runs for 30 minutes immediately after services on Sundays. Kindly see me to have it on the church WhatsApp page if you have not yet been added. That's where you get information, weekly schedules, and reminders as to be up to date. And please do well to join a service unit today if you haven't joined any. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. All right, Julia is still a month of sacrificial. Oh, sorry, that ended. <laughs> that ended, yes, no, that ended on Wednesday, 12 midnight. So, all right. But if you still want to give, and you are led to give, you can give. But you know that it's another season you are playing, maybe Premier League season. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God help me this evening. All right, partnership with. In our land, the ministry is open to all members. If you'd like to partner with the ministry of our Father and the Lord, kindly see me after service. Kindly see me after service. There is so much, there is so much, so much grace. There is so much grace, and it is going to always a privilege to be partnering with this grace. Hallelujah. So for more of Pastor's messages, kindly subscribe to Pastor E. Oran Boko messages on Telegram. And also don't just subscribe, also invite your friends or share the link, share the messages and share the link with as many as possible. And I know their life will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Do you have a witness in the house? Hallelujah. Okay, um, Minister's Conference 2022. Wow, amazing. The day is upon us already. Hallelujah. The day is upon us already. It's just some... 13 days away now. Hallelujah. 
Mrs. Professor Trinity 2 will be reading from Thursday, August the 25th to Saturday, August 27th. And the theme is the power of discipleship and ministering powerfully live and direct. We'll be all the way from the city of Olari, the lead pastor of Citizens of Light Church, Pastor Mirari will be ministering powerfully. Can we celebrate God? Can we celebrate God? Hallelujah. And we'll also be ministering powerfully alongside our very own dearly beloved daddy. Can we celebrate? Can we celebrate? Hallelujah. Amen. I feel like telling somebody that, oh, my apologize. Hallelujah. Uh, you just have said that this evening. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying myself here. Okay. Um, YouTube, our YouTube channel is still available for your subscription. So kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Tobia Mrs. National <laughs> and Pastor Emmanuel Lani Pekun. Sincerely, go and subscribe. Serious, go and subscribe. Hallelujah. And if you have subscribed, subscribe again. <laughs> and share with somebody too. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Can we rise up on our feet as we receive the mission of our Father and the Lord to close the service? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are glad you came tonight? Hallelujah. When God permits, we will have such conversations. There are conversations that are fruits. Others are roots. They are the very fabric that produces what you see. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, those conversations are quite deep. So, if God permits, I'm not promising next week, but if God permits, we will have some prophetic conversation is a series I can take for a whole year. Yes. So let's just, but I'm not, we are not on series of Friday. <laughs> so this is just testing until God tells me um, to take it again. I'd like to implore you tomorrow is what day? Tomorrow is what day? Tomorrow is what day? Saturday. All right. How many of you have done an event before? Probably you have gotten married or you are planning to get married. Or you have organized an event for your family before. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Where well, you have not. Uh, uh, if you are elder sister here, yeah, you have done naming. <laughs> now, how many of you? You just waited till the day of the event, and you expected that the event will be fine. Eh? How many of you sent out invites? How many of? Raise your hand now. How many of you called people to tell them Abi Mau? All right. So, why then don't we come for outreach? And we just expect things to be normal on Sunday. Sunday is an event, am I right? We should prepare for it tomorrow. So, when we go for outreach tomorrow, what are we doing? A bit more. Do you understand what I'm saying? We are telling people something is happening here. Do you understand? Come and partake. So, and also, by the grace of God, Sunday is a special service. Sunday is special prophetic service. Not prophetic conversation now. Prophetic service. You will know why. When you come. And your life will not remain the same again. Let me even tell them. Of course, we'll be having my friend and brother, Prophet Elisha Oyela Day. Now, the last time he came was doing a wedding Thanksgiving. Some five months ago, a lady just sent me a message and said, glory to God, I'm now in Australia. I said, what happened? He said, I came for your wedding Thanksgiving and the prophet that came said he saw me in Australia. You know the couple he called that he said they are giving birth to a girl child. Uh -huh. The girl child that started saying dada. And lots more. So, I don't just make friends. In fact, I've learned enough not to be loose with friendship. So, when I call someone my friend, they are tested. And on Sunday, we are going to show that we receive the prophetic. Can someone say amen to that? Yeah. Especially if it is sponsored by God. 
of course, he's a pastor of Life, Life Breed Christian Network Abuja. So you must know the sacrifice that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so from Abuja, he will be blessing us. And our lives will not remain the same again. We know how to milk the prophetic here. Am I right? Yes, We're a taught congregation. Yes, uh, let him need the retreat after the meeting. I'm telling you, let him need the retreat. That, ah, ah. <laughs> God bless you. I the grace of So we are coming tomorrow. Can someone say amen to that? And this whole place will be filled on Sunday. Uh -huh. So we are going on outreach tomorrow. I will be here. Of such, I will be at your Riaza. If you are hearing me, hear me. And those of you that don't used to come for Riaza, you will have me to contend with tomorrow. Shout amen. So it's not business as usual again. So we are going to be serious. Intensify, do you have Riaza? <laughs> so that I can come. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are closing this service with a mighty shout. And the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore.